Hi there. My name is Melissa and I'm a mental health therapist with Chesapeake Healthcare. My colleagues and I have been hearing a great deal lately about the stress and anxiety that folks are experiencing in response to coronavirus. Many people are concerned about their own exposure or about a vulnerable loved one. Everyone is experiencing financial insecurity, not knowing when they'll be able to return to work. Regardless of your circumstances, it is completely natural to feel uncertain of the future and somewhat powerless over your current reality. I'm here today to teach you some quick and effective strategies that you can use when you are feeling overwhelmed to help you calm down and make healthy decisions and take good care of yourself. Before we get started, I think it is important to understand a little bit of why these strategies work. And that is because our bodies have an automated response for responding to stress. And it doesn't matter whether that stress is because we're being chased by a bear or because our two-year-old won't leave us alone so that we can work at home. Our bodies don't care. What they do is they sense that there is something wrong and we need to prepare to jump into action to solve it. So what happens is our blood vessels constrict, our blood pressure gets raised, our heart begins racing. We begin to slow the digestion in our stomachs and our muscles tense. And all of these are happening often below the level of awareness. And we just feel tense, irritated, ready to respond, even though the situation might not objectively be that big of a deal. So what do we have to do? We have to essentially stop that process in its tracks. We have to activate the body's relaxation response, which is what these activities do. So the first one that I'm gonna teach you is called paced breathing. And you've probably heard of it before, but I want to point out a few things before we get started. The first is that you want your exhale to be longer than your inhale, and you want to make sure that you are breathing deeply enough that you can actually hear it. So pick whatever rhythm feels comfortable to you. For the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to do an in count for five, hold for three, and an out count for seven. So that's a total of 15 seconds. If we repeat that four times, that'll be one minute of paced breathing. And if you do this for two minutes, you should feel a very, very big difference in the level of emotional distress that you're experiencing in the moment. So I'm going to start a clock so that we can actually keep track of how many seconds are passing. And we're going to do one minute of paced breathing together. Ready? In two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There. So that was one minute of paced breathing. If you can practice that for an additional minute whenever you're feeling upset, I guarantee it's going to immediately help you return to a state where you feel calm enough to think about what you want to do next. Now the most important thing that I can tell you about that skill, or any skill that you use to help yourself calm down, is that you want to practice using it when you feel okay. You don't want to learn to drive when you're on your way to the emergency room, just like you don't want to learn how to do paced breathing when you're having a panic attack or you're about to explode. You want to practice these things so that they become automatic and you can use them when you're in a situation where you feel stressed or overwhelmed. So the second skill that I'm going to teach you is about changing your temperature 
when you feel overwhelmed and when you're starting to feel really impulsive, like you really want to react, like maybe you want to raise your voice or maybe you want to go do something to feel different because you're so frustrated. And this scale is about changing your temperature with cold. You can do it with cold water or you can do it with something like this. This is a cold pack that I have. I keep them at the office for clients. I keep them at home as well. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this cold pack or you're gonna take a bowl of cold water and you're gonna stick your face in it. I'm gonna take this cold pack and I'm gonna make sure that it's covering my eyes and the tops of my cheeks. I'm gonna lean forward and I'm gonna hold my breath for 30 to 60 seconds. The most important thing here is that you're not doing anything to hurt yourself. So if you have a heart condition, if you're taking beta blockers, if you're allergic to cold, please do not try this. If you are healthy, and you don't have any pre-existing heart conditions, go ahead and give this a try. What it's gonna do is it's gonna very quickly lower your heart rate, help your breathing slow down, and help you get into a state where you feel like you can make good choices about what you wanna do next. So it's gonna look like this. all there is to it. I'm going to do that for about 30 to 60 seconds or as long as is comfortable and then I'm going to check in with myself and think about what it is that I want to do next. If you'd like to meet with a mental health therapist, if you'd like to learn some more skills for how to calm down short term or to change your emotions in the long term, please give us a call at Chesapeake and we'd be happy to schedule you for an intake. The number to our clinics will be found in the comments below this. Until then, I hope you have a great day and I hope you take good care.